In today's video, I'm gonna go over the My Best Buy Plus membership one month later. Is it worth it or is it something you should skip out on? Let's talk about it. What is going on guys, Jim here at a video today. And yes, we did talk about the Best Buy, My Best Buy Plus membership that happened exactly a month ago. It was a huge, huge groundbreaking deal in my opinion because there was something very special to it. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons, that we'll get into in a minute. But before we get started today's video, guys, it is $50 a year. Keep that in mind. And honestly, I'll give you a head start on this one. This is an excellent, excellent deal. Before we get started today's video, guys, if I consider hitting that subscribe button, hoax, smash that like button, comment down below your thoughts on this My Best Buy Plus membership. Are you a My Best Buy Plus member? Are you just a regular My Best Buy member? Or are you actually the total tech member? When, yes, this is a membership that started one month ago and it is for $50, so keep that in mind. Where, Best Buy, in-store and online. Who, you must be a My Best Buy Plus member or higher to take part in this uh, type of deals I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Why Best Buy is trying to somehow revive the Gamers Club Unlocked deal that ended years ago that was extremely good and what amazing deals for exclusive my best buy plus or higher members it's a one-year membership for fifty dollars to keep that in mind and let's talk about the pros and cons starting the list off with pros this is a huge incentive let me i'm gonna I'll stress this enough if you really love nintendo switch games this is the best deal i've ever seen honestly yes it is buy two get one free on all nintendo switch games yes i'm gonna go into that more into the more the pros but yes you can get any nintendo switch game on their website it's buy two get one free you can do it again you can get more games obviously there is so many games to choose from not as much as gamestop when it comes to switch games but they never do buy two get one free on switch games and like I, this is like a black friday type of cyber monday tier uh type of deal this is insane if you love best buy if you love nintendo switch games and you want to get three of them this is the best way to get it because buy two get one free one time over pays for the membership it's insane one month later this deal is still going on I thought it was a one week thing. No, it's a month thing and it might be indefinitely from what I hear. Number two, if you are a Pokemon collector, this is an excellent, excellent deal. Yes, Pokemon TCG and other TCG, I'm pretty sure, are 10% off. So yes, you can get 10% off Pokemon 151, Pokemon uh, Obsidian Flames, all kinds of Pokemon stuff is 10% off, which is incredible. So if you are looking for Pokemon deals, this is still going on one month later. Another pro is pre-orders, I repeat, pre-orders from the Nintendo Switch count. Yes, you're going to see uh, me make a pickup video of the games I picked up, and obviously I'll show the ones I got that were pre-orders. But yes, pre-orders do count. The, the Wonder game, Mario Wonder counts. Pikmin 4 counted, even though it just came out. Raincoat, I think it's gone, but that, that was a pre-order at one point. Um, Wario, Detective Pikachu, so many games. Uh, RPG Mario, they all count for the buy two, get one free. So yes, and this is all new games. Keep that in mind my type of thing when it comes to video games so with pros out the way there are some cons obviously nothing's perfect let's talk about it if you're a playstation or an xbox gamer which i game on all of them mostly on playstation and nintendo but if you are not a nintendo gamer and you really uh you're, this deal may be a little less of an of a uh, thing for you because obviously the nintendo switch games are the buy two get one free not the playstation not the xbox just nintendo just nintendo switch which is crazy because those are the games that are never on sale. So I'm boggled by that. But yeah, so if you want to just get Xbox and PlayStation stuff, you're gonna have to go to the digital currency route. If you don't like that, this may not be for you. Con number two, there is a very limited amount of Nintendo Switch games on Best Buy versus game st places like GameStop. That's because Best Buy isn't the biggest place compared to GameStop when it comes to selling games. Yes, they have a great selection of games, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, all types of stuff. But when you go into GameStop, there's more of a variety, but then again, there's that only pre-owned route. I really take the new route when it comes to new games. But yes, looking for brand new Nintendo Switch games and you wanna find some of the older ones like uh, Astral Chain or maybe the older Bayonettas, yeah, it's gonna be harder to find those and you're gonna have to look elsewhere. There's only a certain amount of games that Best Buy does carry brand new. And con number three, are they gonna come out with anything for PlayStation and Xbox? soon because we've seen nothing but a nintendo switch deal for the last month yes so we haven't seen anything change over from the nintendo switch or the pokemon cards or the digital currency at the time of this recording so yes if you are looking for xbox and playstation like i said at the beginning this needs to happen because all gamers should be a uh, part of this best buy deal uh, my best buy plus you shouldn't it shouldn't just be nintendo it should be xbox and playstation deals with buy two get one free Obviously, I don't see them doing PS5, buy two, get one free. That'd be incredibly crazy, or Series X, but maybe PS4 and Xbox won't be great, or S. But yes, so 
when it comes to the mystery, will they actually add those in eventually? Or are we going to be sticking with this Nintendo Switch thing only? Maybe they have a partner deal with Nintendo, with Nintendo when it comes to Switch games with some deal going on. And that's why they're they're doing the buy two game on free like this. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Overall, honestly, if you are a huge Nintendo Switch collector or Nintendo Switch gamer, or just, if you love Nintendo Switch, this is the best deal for you. You buy two games, you get one free. That free game is obviously going to pay its membership right there. If you do it again, you're obviously just building upon that membership and profiting off of what you already purchased with the membership. You obviously are making out better than you paid with the $50 membership. You want to make sure you go over that $50 you spend at least in one year because you don't want to just have it sit there. So yeah, when it comes to Nintendo Switch games and Pokemon cards, that is where me and my girlfriend Nicole really, really go to because of Best Buy. Uh, buy two get one free and a 10% off Pokemon cards. I mean 151 10% off an Obsidian Flames is a no-brainer. Yeah so if you love Nintendo Switch Pokemon cards this is definitely a deal for you in like digital currency but if you are more of an Xbox or a PlayStation fan only and don't really care about the digital games this is or Pokemon cards then I would stay away from this. Overall it depends if you're a Switch gamer and Pokemon collector uh, or not. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you a My Best Buy Plus member or even a hired member? What is it called? A total tech member? I'm like that. That's for like fixing TVs and stuff. It's really it's a good deal if you need help with that stuff. But yes, overall, it's a great deal. Uh, I think it is personally better than any GameStop deal that's come out. Obviously, it's trying to revive itself from Gamers Club Unlock. Is it better than Gamers Club Unlock? That's to be determined later down the road. But so far, it's made a big splash for sure. Let me know in the comment section below. You guys think this is a good deal, a bad deal? Are you going to stay away from it? And uh, let me know if you bought some games so far, some Pokemon cards, anything. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video and other videos like gaming like this, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. Hulk, smash that like button. Comment down below what your thoughts are. And I will see you guys on the next video.